welcome to the inside of my tiny home. I put a poll up to ask you guys if you wanted to see a video on what you need to do a Airbnb remotely. And I know there's probably a lot of videos out there that do it, but I think I have something special here with, you know, a tiny house. So the first one I want to say is a spot light motion detector. I'm in a cabin out in the woods. It can get scary now our motion detector is so sensitive that it can like sense like bugs like big spiders going by it or hanging down off of it and you always get like motion detector um, alerts on your phone a lot I've learned to ignore it um, but when renters are coming in and out I kind of you know peep in here and there to make sure everything's okay but you definitely want those I'll put my favorite brand right here we use the ring one for the motion light but we also have another brand from um lowe's that may be a little bit cheaper but definitely you want that because when people walk up you want them to have light when people walk up you want them to be able to see when they're put how they're putting their coat in and definitely you want to see their face so motion detector lights i love <laughs> we always get to see raccoons walking around on our porch with it as well well when the camera comes on which leads me to a either ring camera or wise camera that has you know it's really good wi-fi on it and it's like hd you can see who these people are you can record um it can be stored in a database or you can just do a lesser charge and just have it record uh or for you to see it live so it has recording and live for different packages that you can buy for it i love my ring cameras i don't like the doorbell ones i like the ones that come with a spotlight that you could put up right at the top and you get to see everything so you can buy the ring camera separately or you could do it with the motion light i personally like the motion light one next up is a timer for your lights i have fairy lights to set the ambiance at two of my properties and you don't want them on all night you know that could be a little annoying when people are trying to sleep or you don't want them on during day i don't know you know you can have it on during day if you want to but it's just nice for them to cut on during daylight and then you can set it to cut off around five hours later so that way when people are going to bed they're not being blinded by it i personally like to have mine on all the time but at the tiny house the windows are just so big that you can see the lights hanging there so we're definitely going to put a timer um, on our lights and you can get that from walmart i believe and i'll put a picture up here for you as well i'll try to put things down in the um, description box as well now the next thing you're going to need and it is not an actual item it is an app that you're going to want to pay for it is called turnover bnb this is where you're going to find your cleaners and your cleaners are your eyes and your ears they tell you if something is broke they tell you if um something's missing they clean for you obviously and if you interview your cleaners correctly you can find cleaners who actually have maintenance men which will be my next topic is you need a maintenance man to come and service small things i've had my water go out i am on a well system so i've had my well water stink and they had to put a new filtration system in there um i've had my shower not drain right i've had a leak in the faucet you want a maintenance man to be able to come in and work on those things they will also be your eyes and ears and they mine take a picture for me to send it in an email and they say do you want us to replace it or do you want us to fix it or do you want us to just get rid of it so i really like that next up is you want to sync your calendars so some, some type some type of syncing app i'll put some names here for you guys so that you know which ones that you can use that will sync all of your calendars in because ideally you want to be using more than one booking website more than just airbnb to be getting customers because you know, you want to be on like booking.com, you want to be on um, travelers and all of that. So you definitely want to be on more than one system and you have to have everything synced. So I'll definitely have a list right here for you. It saves my life because when I first started, I was almost getting double booked and you do not want to have to cancel reservations because someone booked at the same time as your other people because Airbnb only gives you three times to cancel and then they suspend your profile. So remember that. That is so stressful. This is also why I have my uh, rentals up on my own website because nobody can just get rid of it just because I need to cancel somebody's reservation. I don't want to cancel because I want as much money as possible, but it does happen. You don't want to lose your rental income just because you're relying on one big website. So that may be also one is to have your own website. So I'll put that as the other one and I'll let you guys see what mine looks like on my Shopify website. Um, so yeah, 
I really love that option up there. The next one is a Schultz lock or Schultz. I don't know the name of it. Slage, Slage locks. They allow you to have a hundred different types of codes that you can send to people, have it scrambled. And then when they're done using it, you can forever delete it. You can also have someone always have a lock, temporarily have a lock. And you can set it towards your maintenance man, your pest man, your cleaners, you. You want to have your own specific lock. And you just keep deleting them, even though you can have 100. I try not to have too much in there because that's, that's like overwhelming. And you can set these locks through Wi-Fi when you're across the world. We love that. There are some locks that only do it if you're in the state that the lock is in. The ones that I have, I can do it anywhere in the world. And you need to make sure that it says that. I don't know the name for it, so I'll put it down here so you guys should know those are the questions you should ask if that lock can do this. Next up, I will say, is a lock box for emergencies. So yes, you will have a Schlage lock. That's the one that I use or any other lock that can do that. You want to have a lock box for emergencies. I've had a few people lock themselves out completely, I guess out of habit. They lock all locks before they leave and then they're like, oh my God, we're locked out. So definitely have a lock box. I think Schlage has some as well, but you could just go to uh, Lowe's and get the cheapest one nail it into your wall outside so people can have access to it. I don't change that lock number as often as I should, but not a lot of people have needed it. But um, I would say about, I can count on my hand how many people have locked themselves out of my house. You want a shed or closet with a lock on it that you can put extra stuff into. So we have um, an extra closet with a lock on it where we put the Christmas decorations, we put the leaf blower, we put our leaf rake, and yeah, our cleaners do that. But sometimes when we're here, we could do it ourselves in maintenance ourselves so we can save a buck or two so you definitely want to have extra things in there also you can give access to your cleaners so that they can go in there and store some of their stuff as well which is very helpful um, and that would lead into maybe your cleaners giving complimentary candy wine or water my uh, two two of my cabins or actually all three of my cabins are on a cabin are on a well system one of the wells is really safe to drink. Other ones, you want to have a filter on it. So I just would rather not, rather them not drink out of the faucet. And we just complement them with a few water bottles for at least the first few nights or the first two nights so that when, if they haven't gone to the store already or they arrived late, then they'll have some water to drink at least. So yeah, you definitely want to have that. Also, a really big one is to have mattress protectors. You need your mattress to be protected. You don't want to have your mattress soil. Those things are expensive. So that is like one of my number one things you would need so that your cleaners can just clean your sheets. And when the cover needs to be cleaned, they'll clean that as well. So that are those are some of my things you need to have your Airbnb ran remotely. I'm currently trying to get my tiny house up. It should be up at the end of May, so check out for that link. I hope you guys follow my journey for my tiny house, Airbnb, real estate journey. Um, those are some of the really important things I would really suggest. So thanks for watching. I hope this video wasn't too long. I'm running out of battery space, so I gotta go. So I will talk to you guys later. Look out. If you haven't already seen the tour of the tiny house land finished, then check that out. I might link that for you. So bye, guys.